Thank you for clicking on this video. I hope you enjoy. And if you do, then don't forget to like and subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you stay up to date on further content. Greetings, captains, and welcome aboard our yacht, the Shallow Star, heading towards our great destination. This is Star Trek Online and a ship visual review video. So, captains of the Federation, Roman Republic, and Dominion, I welcome you here to take a fine look at a beautiful old space frame that has been brought to us during this era. This lovely ship has got a lot of extra details to look at however, so bearing that part in mind, this may take a little bit longer than normal. We'll also look at a couple of whole variations for those of you curious on the subject. But, without further ado, artisans, engineers, and those seeking to command a truly graceful and beautiful starship, may I introduce to you the zero phase, as I'm going to call it, miracle worker variant, discoveries, constitution class. Oh yes, I'm so glad we got this. And in essence, it's so close to the original that I am just over the moon happy. JJ Abrams, why couldn't you have given us a Connie like this? I can kind of guess, probably copyright issues involved. Um, ownership rights but I'm glad Discovery got to give us this and oh damn I like it I don't know if I feel like the sales are oversized the whole ship is technically oversized but well All you have to do is shrink it to the colony's actual size and nothing would be wrong perspectively. In fact, you might just slightly have slightly larger nacelles. Look at her. She's lovely. And to top things off, she has these beautiful fighters, but we'll look at them in a bit. Guys, I couldn't be happier here. The thing I like most about this ship as well is the general variations you have with it. There are two types of warp nacelle. We will look at type 2 in a bit. Type 2 has bassards that look very much like the NX's red, which with this whole coloration also fits really well for me. I would love it if they've added this whole coloration to the NX class, because I know the NX class has a sort of brownish hole, which is then slightly more beige for the Columbia. But, come on guys, <laughs> silver is aesthetic, it's beautiful, I love how this is a sort of grey silver hole, and the, the sort of magnetic metal, metallic feel to it is, it just shines off the ship, it's so beautiful. The bridge module is the first thing I want to talk about. You can already see that it's a physical module, you can just see how it's slotted in there, amongst the sort of enclosure of the up of that deck one hull. It's nice because you can also see a sort of dome shielded section in front of that bridge that is protecting the glass of the bridge or the wind of the bridge, which technically can become opaque apparently. There is a very low poly bridge on there. You can probably see it from here, sort of what is through there. Unfortunately, it's not the bridge of the uh, Constitution from Discovery, and it's so low poly, do not zoom in on it. Trust me with that one, don't do it. <laughs> I should have believed STO when they, or the STO stream when they said not to. I still zoomed in, I regretted it quickly. It's probably the only negative. But then again, 
You can't really blame them. They don't want to waste polys on the bridge when you can make the rest of the ship look great. God, it looks good. The saucer is absolutely magnificent. When the bug was in place, making the windows disappear, I thought the saucer was thicker than it actually is. But it, it looks about the right thickness. It might be it might be a deck thicker than it should be. But I'm not going to complain too much about it. I'm so glad they fixed the um, window issue they were having on it. Now you get this bloody lovely look. And you can see the extension paths from the saucer as well. Having those airlock doors there are great. It's an absolutely lovely bit of design there. Also, three dots at the front. Because we know they had to be there. It's beautiful, it's nice. I really like the phaser points. The hardboard phaser points here. Combined with the torpedo tubes that are on the source a bit. And it's good to see the torpedo tubes sitting there. It's like, yes! Fight ready, fire my torpedoes. Speaking of which, I'll show you them later as well. Yes, that's gonna be including the visual reviews of weapons. What? What is this crap? Well, I've got weapons to show you. Onwards from the saucer. This beautiful, beautiful saucer. Get to the neck, which... It fits right where it should on the secondary hull. And I'm just over the moon about that. It's not stupid back like the JJ. It's just right. The JJ's too far. The Connie looks gorgeous the way it is. This one... It's a little bit back compared to the number one, I believe. And a little bit thicker, but it looks magnificent. The best part of the detailing is you can see the source of separation module, the, where the explosive bolts would launch an emergency separate the saucer in a uh, loss of the secondary hole scenario. Or maybe you've lost the saucer scenario. Maybe the saucer's been so heavily damaged you want to purge the saucer in order to reduce mass. Maybe. <clears throat> I'm not sure how they command the ship. They can command it from engineering, but that would be rather awkward. They'd be in a very bad situation if they had to. Having said that, get round back now with their neck and the saucer and you get the impulse array. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I kind of do. I think it looks really nice the way they've done it. And it's given room for that other module that I can't really zoom in on. But where my cursor is currently fixated on, there's a little module point there. I'm not sure what that is. An injector of some kind? A, another docking point? Whatever it is, I like it. It's nice to see it there. It's very beautiful bit of detailing that just says there's more going on with this ship than the rest of the body. It might even be a simple docking latch point for if you have to recover the saucer, in which case very well thought out because they did purge the saucer in this in a, sorry, Star Trek Discovery. Let's go on to something a little bit more fun from here. The secondary hull. This is something that if you don't get right destroys the enterprise much like getting the saucer right which is a, a kind of a bit hard to get wrong the secondary hole is something that will destroy the enterprise constitution class if you don't get this right and it's safe to say it was done right you can see secondary grilling at the back behind the deflector. That is absolutely beautiful detailing. It's basically something that does exist on the Constitution. It's just not in as high detail. So it's very nice to see that there. The actual deflector dish looks magnificent. Fits so well with the ship. And you can sort of see how they may refit it into the Cage 1 or the Phase 1 Enterprises saucer. So that's a nice little bit of aesthetic change. The simple curvature at the back though, that is so beautiful. I think it's a little bit larger than the actual Connie's, I'm not sure. I have to be a, a bit hands up here. I came in with Star Trek Next Generation and Deep Space Nine. The Constitution wasn't a big ship for me, like it is for many people. I still rage if you don't do it justice because it's the Constitution. It's an enterprise, you gotta do it right. But 
I don't know the finer detailings to extremes. Having said that, the bit I do like is the clam search shell. That shuttle bay area is gorgeous! So beautiful. With the whole texture they've given it, it looks really great. I kind of wish they had the um, beams that come down from top to bottom that basically would be where it collapses into. So, which, as it opens, it sort of collapses, on, collapses in on itself around towards the back. And I'm wishing they kept sort of the highlighted beams there, but you can sort of see where they are on this hole. So it's still, it's good. I just wish there's a little bit more highlighting detail. Now, from beauty onto beauty, let's go onto the pylons. This is a bit where it does differ. These are more motion picture enterprise. The NCC 1701A pylons than they are the Connies, the Phase 1 and 2. Now if you take away, if you take a look at it, take away the back portion where this slit is going down the middle, take away that back part, you've probably got about the thickness of the Phase 1, Phase 2 pylons. And probably a similar design to the motion picture pylons. So I feel like what they've actually come up with here in the with Discovery is They've used the motion picture pylons, but they've added that second slap, which is a basically, we're reinforcing some strength here. It was added in as a, we're not sure if this ship is going to rip its nacelles apart. It might want to try and shake itself apart, creating the warp field. So this is a bit of structural reinforcement. Comes to me fit. Okay, we didn't actually need that, so, uh, out the window, goodbye, woohoo, you're gone. And, uh, that wouldn't be so bad in my opinion. So, it could be a case of when it comes to cages or the phase one, they go, right, back bit, gone, second bit, straightened. Perfect, that functions quite well, we'll have that. You can see how the lineage might go into the next stage, and I applaud that, and you could easily say that they've basically then gone through phase one, phase two, motion picture, refitting the ship. I believe the nacelles might be positioned a bit better if we allow it to move back. Shall we just re readjust the pylon points? How are we going to do that, Captain? Well, we could, we've got new nacelles going on, so we don't have to worry about the connection point there. The uh, connection point, however, on the secondary hole may want to stay where it is. Try not to change too much. We'll just bend the pylons. Ah, yeah, that works. That works, engineer. That works just fine. Great. We'll use that. <laughs> that uh, that's why. I, that's how I've always just figured out why they moved the pylons the way they did. The pylon, otherwise, in the cells would have been too far forward. So it's like bend the pylons back, and you got it. Nacelles, nacelles, nacelles. Oh, look at them. You get a very strong NX01 vibe about them, but at the same time, these are simply phase one constitution nacelles with up to detailing. Because they're no longer toilet tubes. They don't have to use toilet tubes anymore. They're not making a simple model, they can use CGI, let's put some details in. And what they've done is, instead of using paper mache and toilet tubes, they've done the CGI and indent the grooves, add these beautiful fins and a third fin underneath. The fins look great, they really give an air of robust endurance to these nacelles. The back is beautiful purely because it fits so well with the cage, the phase one, is the correct design, correct detailings. I love that fact. Moving forwards, there is no external grill. Great, it's got this lovely pinstriping with a number one, just as it should be. I like this vented bit. It feels like there's a bit of reinforced armor to protect it and a bit of modularity to the um, nacelle, which is a nice bit of detailing. 
coming towards the front. The facades have got this reinforced detailing that shows that the holes in the facades, and they're the beautiful sort of peachish colour. Now, a lot of people complained, saying, "Hang on, in Discovery, they're red." We'll get there in a second. You just have to give me a little bit of time. I've noticed I've not actually been flying the ship for once. I'm holding on spot. How weird am I being? Well, it's got to be just fixated on the ship's glorious, beautiful design. The nacelles are great, and the best part is. Rodenbury always wanted the, gl the glowing blue warp grill. That's something he wanted on his ship. Effects couldn't, effects couldn't do it within a budget that could be afforded, so they took the grilling out. Great discovery, you added the grilling in. And you can say, due to the Klingon War, when it got refitted that you see at the end of Discovery's second season, they reinforced the armour and covered over the warp grills with a form of ventral plating that allows the warp grills to still function normally, but also applies additional armour to prevent damage to them. Great, because they've got their line of sight, and you can see how one meets the two. It still works. It's nice, and there's a lovely bit of detailing. i to come up here a bit. This pipe working here, to me, feels like clamp points. Now, I know they would most likely use magnetic clamps, but it also feels like you've got clamping points there, so the well, it's in dock, you can have bring down these clamps and just hooks onto those parts in the cells. And that's the ship held in place. It's going nowhere! That would be amazing. That can add to the magnetic clamps, so you've got a way to hold the ship in place under emergency situations and emergency protocols. Or they could just be a kind of robust tubing. There may be some version of coolant that runs through that bit, and it's just a way that it can maybe the whole skin of it vents out and just bleeds out coolant if need be. A little bit close to the walk rails, but <laughs> yeah. It's a nice little bit of additional detailing that takes the originally flat design and makes it look more alive. And that's what this ship does. It takes the problem with the old constitution, and people are gonna hate me for this, but because it was so streamlined smooth, although it looked really high tech being that smooth, it didn't have what I call that aspect of feeling alive. That comes from having grooves, indentations, finer detailings, bits that stand out that make you go, hang on, what's that? That's that's what brings it to life for me, these additional detailings. I could say the same thing on Deflector at the front there. It's got the same detailing as on the Connie, but they've also then given it layering to give that more organic feel to the ship. It is so beautiful. It's such a bleeding nice design. I could be happier seeing it. But you know what else? It's the fact that there is more than one modular aspect to the ship. Not what I meant to do. Now they're a little bit grouped together there, so you can't see them too well. See if I can get myself in a good position for one of them. Ah, oh, there we go. So low position shot on that. Don't they look bleeding beautiful? Just look at them. The detailing is great. You can see sort of how the engines and drives work. It's a very fine focus. They're literally weapons. The piloting pods about the size of the officer with all the tech around them good shielding makes them very hard to hit great pulse cannons at the front pulse cannons at the back weapon emplacements are ready it feels really fast and maneuverable it's a shame they all merged together at the moment it's kind of confusing the way they've done that and it's just the raw number of these you get they are so magnificent the best thing for me on these detailing wise is the way you've got these what might might, might be micron launchers. But personally, I feel like these are these are the sentry targeting points at the front. You have the weapons tops and sides at back. 
At the very back of the ship you have the grinning for the engine, which is probably also an extraction system, so as to prevent the ship from overheating. The ship. The fighter from overheating. These tactical flyers are just beautiful in detail. And you get more of them! It's like they're never ending! There's just waves upon waves of these buggers. Everywhere. The worst part is though, the one thing you don't want to be doing is this beauty. Uh, where are you going? This doesn't end too well for you. I'm sure they're reacting by now. Yep, here they come. Here comes hell, guys! Oh, oh god, they're only flying next to me for once. They're not spying around me! Hang on, I might be able to get some really good shots to then. Oh. So that one's facing out. Ah, uh, rear view. As you can see, rear views are about the same as well. So it's kind of for the thrust. They're definitely thrusters on front and back. Equally thrusters. So the side bits at the front there probably are the um, RCS thrusters to enable to enable further maneuvering. Not entirely sure how that would roll though. Oh, can you see how many there are? Taking away from that, let's see if I can get them to return to me. Get rid of all of them. Take on silhouettes of the ship. Here's a famous silhouette of the Constitution. Extremely famous and extremely beautiful silhouette. People love this view. I know they do. I love this view. And it fits. If you put this silhouette alongside the Constitution silhouette, you'd be hard pressed to spot the difference. Because you'd probably only spot two, the Impulse Array and the Pylons. The forward is perfect. It's perfect. This is what JJ did wrong. The nacelles are far enough apart. The bridge module is just the right position and size. Sentry model below is, is right size. Secondary hull is right proportion difference to the saucer. It's so in proportion. The silhouette is perfect from the front, and I love that. Looking at below or from above, this ship is just gorgeous. Again, the proportions are so on point and so on form. About the only things you're going to start to notice difference on are the sails, pylons, and impulse array again. It is so happy with it. Couldn't be happier. It's such a good looking ship. And she gets better. She does get better. She gets better for your TOS fans as well. And I'm going to show you that. So let's get around to that part. So the next thing for some of you guys may have been, but the Constitution has a whiter hull. Is there a high detailed whiter hull aesthetic you can pull on this ship that will semi work. Yes, there is. I will get to the real detailing in a minute, but first of all, this is this is the cell type beta. So you've got two nacelle types, standard and beta. Beta will give you the red facade that you see in this season two of Discovery. I've got to add right now that no matter what deflector you, sorry, what hold type you use from this point, especially if you use NX01, you get a very NX vibe from those nacelles having those red facades. But the detailing is even better because Beta doesn't just give you the red there. They give you, if you look very closely, you can see that it's not extra warp grilling that's going on here. If you look around this part of the nacelle, there's a blue sort of glow to it, but they've lit up two points, and that's actually a revealed shielding. So there's actually shielding clearly being shown going through the nacelle, which is such a little nice, it's a fine bit of detail that's so nice to see. And if you guys are wondering what hold type I'm using right now, this is the NX refit hole type. So the, I've forgotten what it's called. 
It's the second version of the NX3 fit. I've completely forgotten what the dock, what the um, port or dock is called. But it's the second variation. It's a whiter one. It gives you nice black linings that you've seen on the uh, Constitution's original. The back is changed into looking more like it's got a hatch on it, which okay, it changes the detailing a bit. But I'm not going to play against that. I think that looks great, actually. And the cells just look really refined and beautiful like this. I quite like it. It's a nice bit of detailing touch, and it doesn't take away from the Constitution feel. Hell, you could go NX01 and give yourself a bronze spill if you want to. You could go any of the other Discovery skins, though they all add they all add colorations to the deflector, so you may not entirely want to do that. I personally just quite enjoy the NX. O1's refit hole on it. It's nice! Bite me! What? <laughs> but guys, this is the part that I really like. Type 0 hole aesthetic. The TOS Constitution hole. You can have it on this ship and just look at that. With the standard nacelles. You really are hard pressed to spot a difference. She's beautiful. All she needs now is TOS phaser beam, phaser arrays, and my word. <clears throat> the best part is on this whole type, you can see even better the ball phaser points. They're really well in place on there, looking absolutely great. Go towards the back, you can see some minor points where they've decided let's put some ball faces in on here, I believe. Maybe just the back underneath there. And you've got the same points underneath, along with the torpedo tubes, which are now a bronzy gold coloration. The ship looks absolutely amazing like this. I'm so happy with the outcome to her. Even the impulse array, some people won't be happy, but they, it just, it's just right for me. Even better with the TOS skin, although on the beta nacelles, the bit that's highlighting blue stays blue. On these, you do take, have the walk grilling taken away. They're a slightly lighter colour. Emphasis on there may be heat behind there. But I'm not so bothered with that, it looks absolutely great. The whole thing looks nice. You can still see the shielding aesthetic on the front module for where the bridge would be. It's a shame they didn't give you two saucer types and let you take away that bridge bar. If they gave you two saucer types, took away that little Hollander bridge, that would have made this perfect for me. It would be amazing if they give you the ability to take this ship and have, they give you beta or give them gamma, gamma pylons, gamma saucer, just so that you can make this ship look even more like the original Constitution, that would be really nice of them, but let you keep, say, the Discovery skin or use the NX-01 skin on it. Just so you can have high detailing, but have the original shape. That would be the only thing that could have improved it for me. Still give you access to the original shape. But admittedly, that would have taken a lot of work, as I would have had to re the ship. Clamshell looks absolutely gorgeous in this though. I should bring that back up too. I'm just really happy with the ship's look and design, it's gorgeous. Now, I'm going to take just a second, guys, and we're going to get ourselves so I can show you the weapons now. Let's go. Seeing here 
now is the Constitution's Advanced Phaser Beam Array. These are recoverable from the Dolly Fume store. They're actually really powerful weapons as well. And we're going to have some fun with them. And our fighters, because they're just as balmy. Absolutely amazing! I love the look of the new phases that are built with this ship. The detailing is just gorgeous. It's really nicely thought out. I'm so glad they gave us it. Because they didn't have to give us these new phases. They could have just said, oh, use the covert phases, because they're um, similar, they're beams, but they're red. They're beams. Nope, they gave us blue. Advanced phasers. These phasers gain in power while they're working with other advanced phasers. So it's actually really good to have multiple of the same phase on this ship. Yep. Uh, and with towers in the book. It's just... And the fact the photon torpedoes are red, just pure red, that is also great. You can't upgrade the photon torpedoes though, you can upgrade the advanced phasers. Well, I guess you can use normal photons if you wanted to. I'm still disappointed because of the explosive reaction of the photon torpedoes, but... You can't win them all. Maybe I'm asking for too much by hoping to win them all. But seriously, guys, how beautiful is this ship? And the thing is, we're not even done yet. She can have so many visual aesthetics on her, it's silly. Let's Let's take a sweet look, shall we? Now, I don't have them all, I do apologise, but let's start, first of all, with Discovery. So with Discovery, you get Discovery skin, the walk wheel is the same, it does not affect the colour of the facade, so your facades will always be the peach or the red. Personally, I think this looks great when you put the red facades on it. Deflector gets a little bit of additional detailing on it. The rest of the ship just looks really high tech. Not so sure on the pylon parts, but I do love the mount detailing that's over the um, clamshell. The whole thing just looks great. And it, it, it can be better, because you could be Terran. Give this ship a dark hole aesthetic. Now, doesn't this look Terran? This is exactly how I imagine, if we had gotten to see the ISS Defiant when they went back to the, in, went, sorry, went into the Mirror Universe. This is what I wanted to drop out in front of us. I wanted the Terran ship just to drop in front of us. Like, who do you think you're, what are you doing here? Be gone! It's a pity we never got to see the, uh, I imagined the Terran one to be heavily refitted from the original. To look different. Maybe Section 31's would look different. This is a nice skin. This is, to me, a dark variation of what you'd get from the Constitution's natural hull. Very, very smooth detailing. 
Great looking deflector. On this, on this skin, I really love to look at the deflector. It's absolutely gorgeous. A little bit confused as to why you can see the bizarre, the um, walk grills, considering it tries to armor everything up with this ship, but you can. Also, the impulse array is clear. You can see that nice and finely in there. Back end of the cells look great. Climb shell is nice. Would have thought they'd have covered up the um, bridge at least, but hey. Like I said, you can't really win it all. And it is a nice aesthetic feel to the ship. Very high tech. Aegis time, and I think the Aegis has been done just right. Deflector's a bit niff, but it normally is. Don't like the Saucer's Rim. Don't like any of the blue highlighting, actually, and honestly. If I'm honest, I don't like any of the blue highlighting, so he just is a fail with me. Can I simulate this ship? Could you imagine if a, a constitution got assimilated? That would be backbreaking to the Federation. What am I doing? I'm making it worse! No! Well, at least there's nothing on the nacelles, eh? It's just the inbox away that it's been screwed about with. Take that away and uh, give the Bajorans a task. Give me a little bit of Bajoran feel. Well, to me, this looks like a heavily corroded colony. One that may have crashed on the planet and they've it's then gone through major corrosion. Someone's found it, fixed it up and got it back in a flight. Haven't quite got everything right, but it's now functioning again. It's a nice look. Shame about the back there. Okay. It's not a bad look. Probably would look better if we were using, say, the white, one of the white holes, or the ones with more or less teching on it. The higher detailed holes probably would look nicer with this specific shield design. But the engines look, sorry, the walk, gri the walk grills and the in facades themselves look absolutely nice with this. The cells all together, secondary holes pretty nice. I'm not sure on the deflector, it just looks like an eye to me. Again, that's pretty easy to do. Oops, Delta Alliance. Now this one is always one of those ones which I'm a little bit iffy with. Uh, wait, where are you going? Yeah, what grills look naff, but the rest of it looks kind of good. Same for the deflector, it's a little bit weird. Could say it's an it's a subtly assimilated. Yeah, I would say it's a subtly assimilated ship. Considering its um type, Delta Alliance, Unimatrix shields. Yeah, it makes sense. It's very subtly assimilated. How about Solene? This should look really good on it. Oh, and it does. It's absolutely beautiful actually, quite like it. And it covers over the walk grills. It, it is a Solene original Connie, I love it. Nice little touch. Oh no, Arconian, please don't kill it. Do you know one of the best things about this is if you, if you fly any other TOS ship in this game, the basic TOS in the cells that you get are Literally like the same pattern just tubed on top of each other and it looks horrible. Because these nacelles haven't been done the same way, they just look so much better. The whole ship looks better, in my opinion. I quite like the bridge aesthetic with this. Oh that deflector! That that's an eye of Sauron deflector. That is I see you. Fight me! No, don't throw in the Oh you bastard, you killed me by throwing my rings back. Oh, sorry, get, again, a little bit off subject here. My normal favourite. Or I should say, one of my normal favourites. It's not a bad touch. Not, not entirely sure what's going on with Deflected there. That's a, that's a raw case of. Oh, I am a holy Deflector! You shall be! It's, 
It's nice, I do like it. The <laughs> walk grills look really good. Let me not argue with that one. And the impulse away. I love it. Everywhere that's painted normally is now black. And the rest of the hole is that beautiful silver. It's really nice. Well, we've traveled through time. Why not? Hey, it actually works really well. Shiny! Then again, the temple shields ain't really one of my favorites, but it is still quite nice. Probably works its best on a temple ship, but it's nice. I do like it. Speaking of temple ships, we'll get there. Oh! Oh, yes! Section fully one, eat your heart out. This is the best. This is definitely the best look for my Collie. This is the look I'll be going with. This is the USS Nemesis. Name the Nemesis because of how difficult it was to blast it get. Also looks like there's now a sort of specialized shield building in the pylons, preventing the pylons from being damaged. Everything looks great. Oh, the back of the warp cells as well. They look absolutely gorgeous. And it's mirrored to work great. We gotta look at the trash compactor, so why not? <laughs> I know I said we got to, but did we have to? It ruined the ship. Ugh, I'm so sorry, Connie. I didn't mean to do that to you. Let me give you the beautiful Gemadar. Ooh, and it is beautiful. Definitely not the best on this ship. Doesn't look as great. The cells are absolutely gorgeous, but the saucer is a little bit mmm to me. Next, fine. So it's secondary. Oh, it's just the saucer. The impulsor ray looks great. I'll give it some cues. It is nice in its own ways. Riemann time. Come on, Chroman style. Deflector looks really nice, actually. And it isn't super glowed, so that's fine. The cells are absolutely beautiful. The whole ship looks really nice, actually. Can I say, it's a nice touch. It's a very nice touch to a very nice ship. But beyond that, we just simply got to admit this ship is Quite frankly, a beautiful starship. I am so thankful for Discovery giving us this beautiful ship. It's an absolutely wonderful reimagining re of the ship. Especially considering restrictions they must have had giving us it. I feel like... I might get some stick for this, but I really do believe it does the Constitution justice. And that's the hardest thing to do. Do the original TOS Connie justice. I do like, I will say, in my humble opinion, this ship does that. Thank you, Star Trek Online, for giving us it in the game. Even if you did pull it in a very awkward place to get, and even if it is one of the most expensive ships to get. However, this ship is so damn good it's worth it. Stats wise and visually. For a visual score, visual score on this ship, I think I'll give a... I can't believe I'm doing this. This is part of my new series of reviews, and I'm doing this already. This ship gets 10 out of 10 visually. Sure, she does not give us the ability to look like the original Connie. Maybe one day we'll get it. But... It gives us THE Discovery ship in such beautiful detailing. Hold on. 
I hope I don't butcher this name. Don Versig, ye who gave us this ship, physically the guy that put this together, who was in the stream the other day, you are a legend. You are quite simply a legend. This ship is so beautiful, it's so good. Thank you for bringing this, us this ship in game. I wish I knew who actually designed the ship. The person who actually came up with this Starship's concept, the guy who's part of the Star Trek Discovery cast, the lead designer and designers that supported him. You guys are legends. You did this ship so much just you did the Constitution so much justice. Thank you. It's a beautiful ship. I can't I can't be happy enough with her. Guys, what's your opinions on her? Are you happy we can use the TOS Scott skin? Are you happy we can give her a very updated visual look? Similar to the TOS. And are you happy with how she looks in Discovery? Her Discovery design archetype. I would love to hear your guys' opinions on this ship. So please fill it in the comment section below. As well as please... Comment below as to if you want to see a cinematic, what ship you'd like me to make cinematic videos of, and what ship you want me to review next. I will literally be putting all ships into a class and eventually reviewing all ships that are requested. I'm actually aiming to go through all ships eventually, so it's all well and good and all a bit of fun. With that being said, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me by watching the way to the end of this video. I hope you'll consider going to the description below and having your say. Oh, sorry, go to the description below and checking out my social media so you can stay up to date on everything I do. You can also have your input your own videos, share screenshots of videos of any game you wish in the denomination tab on Discord. <laughs> God, with that being said, guys, I'm enjoying myself too much here. With that being said, live long and prosper. I need to stop myself or I'm going to get out of hand. <laughs> Ciao for now. Oh. Engage. Oh, wait. Welcome.